that just looks mean. Like literally, that truck just looks pissed off right now with those round eyes. It, it just looks mean. It's like a little mean insect. Now that guy just looks confused or surprised. I don't know. But swamp him out of there. There's Rand babies like that. And man, she freaking looks brilliant. So, Ali Krap, you get on Diesel Fuel Network. That's the best I can do. I'm trying to learn Thai, but yeah, that kind of means welcome to Diesel Fuel Network YouTube channel. Got a subscriber. Wants to know how I converted to the round headlights on the F series here. And it's actually really simple what I did. It's almost kind of, I almost didn't want to show what I did, but. I did everything, most of the things I've done on this truck I did before I had a channel, so I'm just going to pretty much reverse it and take it apart and show you what, how, it's, uh, how it's been done. So anybody that has a bullnose medium duty, I don't know if that's accurate. Is this a bullnose? I mean, I know a bullnose is like the regular pickup truck from the 80s. Is this a bullnose medium duty? I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section. So let's pull that apart real quick and just take a look at it. It's going to be a really quick video, so let's do it. So while it's on there, let's just take a look here. As you know, with the big square headlight, you would have a big square opening there. So there's no getting around having to make some sort of a, a cap or a trim piece to cover that hole. And I also, I, I had this aluminum laying around and I just really, I really like the way that looks. It's kind of like the old, uh, the old Mac R models and old Brockways had kind of just a, a square piece of trim the Brockways it was a little rounded off but they really just had a big what looked like a big square piece of, a, a big square piece that was bolted just like this is and here you could I just used um like stainless cap screws uh cap you know bolts really um let's see here we can take a look from back here you could see that on these hoods what am I thinking of why don't I open the hood and we'll get a really good look at this So, on these trucks, fiberglass hood is, the, the, the actual bucket, this part isn't actually what the headlight mounts to normally, but there's a metal bucket that mounts in there. Where that is, is just still the flat spot, and it's just drilled and bolted into place. It's hard enough for me to get something together and finish something. Now I'm taking it apart just for no reason, just to show. Hopefully there's more than one person out there who wants to convert an old medium-duty Ford to, uh, to round headlights. But, I don't know. Let's do it then. Oh, bloody hell, I need an extension for that one. You bastard. I'm freaking editing videos forever, I'll just hit stop. We'll be editing the crap out of this video because... Wait a second. I got power tools that might work here. Disregard that last statement. I know I said it was easier to do with the hood down rather than up. Maybe it just looks better on video. I don't know. Can you guys hit with me? Hit with me? That's the thing, too. Um, so the way I did this. The headlight is adjustable via washers, spacers, if you will. So if you wanted, if you have to adjust the headlight, the way I have it set up, if I have to adjust the headlight, this has to come all off like I'm taking it off now anyway. And I already have it set up good. So I, my point is, if you were to do it this way, it's a, it's a, basically it's, it's bolted hard. There's nothing, you're not going to go in here like you normally would or could. Normally those screws where the headlight bucket mounts would actually be like kind of in behind and there would be like an access, a little access area and you'd stick your screwdriver in there and that's how you'd get your adjustment. Now the way I have this set up, we're gonna see in a second, is that this is just bolted hard to the aluminum 
which is of course bolted to the hood and it's just using washers or spacers to get the adjustment and in, in this case I didn't even I don't know let's just take it apart and look and all the vibration this truck makes they ain't never they never came loose so that's good and here we go oh yeah but I'll plug it oh wait it's it's in there Titty bloody he that! All right now, he what? A bloody insect just went for the bloody camera, mate. Let's say that again. What are you talking about? I didn't say anything. Of course they're shiny. Of course they're shiny. Of course they're shiny. Of course they're shiny. So probably wouldn't lose them. There she is. Beautiful. There we go. Freaking glasses, man. My nose gets sweating and my glasses are just falling off the whole time. So, as you can see, the whole entire thing comes out as a unit. Plug it. And you can see where the magic happens. I don't know if you can actually see me or, or I mean, the device or not, but still, uh, um, this is the original bucket. Basically, this round bucket. This is a brand new bucket. Now, unfortunately, I can't remember. I could probably look it up on eBay, on my eBay uh, thing and see. Yeah, so this is the bucket that's going to come out of there. Which, you know, when you... There's normally a plastic rectangle trim that goes along here. And that just actually has I think one screw in the back and it slides in here most buckets just like the original one are gonna have a screw adjustment at the top and on the two sides and you can only put it that way because the headlight the sealed beam headlight itself you know has a top and a bottom and there's little there's little notches there and there and there which make it so the headlight can only go in one way therefore the bucket can only go into the truck one way and that means on this truck, I did have to make a bit of clearance. I just took a Dremel right there and, and clearanced that out. I wasn't able to make that any of the original adjustment setup work simply because of the size difference and everything like that. Man, this long, this short video is turning into a long ass video. What the heck? All right, so I'm not gonna take I'm not gonna take the headlight out of the bezel here, as we'll call it. But what you need. Now, like I said, or I haven't said, but this is this is actually AMS 4041 aluminum, which is almost irrelevant. You could probably use any kind of similarly, it's a 1.3 millimeter thick aluminum. Now, again, I don't remember exactly what these headlight buckets were from, or but they're brand new. You can buy them on eBay. All right, well, the slightly bad news is these exact headlight buckets that I got on eBay over a year ago, February 2022, are not on there anymore. I don't find anything like them. Seven inch round headlight mounting kit with front and back bezel adjusting screws and spring. So after looking it up again, it appears that a 70 to 77 Ford F-Series headlight bucket may work. No guarantees though. I just bolted that through. The washers can be used to adjust, but they are also required in order to get the fitment correct to space that off. And then that ring also comes with the headlight bucket. And that ring is just sandwiching. Well, actually, as you can see, the ring itself is right there it's designed to go in with that so so there's actually I got lucky because I mean I just spaced them out all evenly 
and it just happened to be aiming on the road really, really good, like perfectly. And I don't get high beamed by other cars or anything. It seems to be aimed perfectly. I think I just got lucky on that. I mean, you might have to adjust it a bit, but also with these trucks, it's kind of funny. Like you could probably just go in and drive over a bump or grab the hood a little bit and it'll be out of adjustment because the whole entire hood moves. And uh, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't worry too much about, I mean, obviously you want it to be aimed enough so you can see and you don't want to be high beaming anybody, but it's not like, it's not going to be that crucial on a flip hood truck anyway, on a, a, a clamshell hood. Um, if you have a alligator hood, then it might, you know, if you aim it, it'll probably stay wherever you aimed it. So I would maybe put a little bit more effort into it. This is pretty much irrelevant, but this is actually the material right here that I used. And it's on there, it's upside down, but it's AMS 4041 aluminum, which is actually aircraft grade, high strength. I really don't know exactly what it would be used for. Now, here you could see it was just a sign, but surely it was, uh, it, it's a sign that was on a military base. My father was in the Air Force and this, came from his shop where they he was a maintenance shop that worked on all the ground equipment generators light stands all that kind of stuff and do not throw fuel filters so what that used to say was to not throw fuel filters in the garbage and uh yeah it's a really good bit of material that i've been using that i've used for a few projects and that of course explains why the back looks like that yeah, well, hopefully that does, hopefully that does something for you. And I always, I mean, I, to me, this is what makes the truck. It gives it such a unique look. Of course, it kind of gives it a little bit of a Louis, Ford Louisville vibe. And like I said before, you get that Mac R models that had the trim piece like that. And I like to say it, it makes the truck look more like a 75 model year instead of an 85. Now, I know that a, uh, I know that a 75 if, you know, F series medium duty is a totally different body style, but I'm just meaning like the vibe of, of the round headlights, it just changes the whole persona of the truck and it gives it more of a seventies look than the 80s look and I love I love them both I love the 70s trucks I love the 80s trucks I love every kind of vehicle There's something about the square headlights that just didn't do it for me on this truck it just the the like I feel like a lot of car people and truck you know people that like cars and trucks they they see a face in a vehicle and I see I definitely see in in the Isuzu here it's got real mean mean eyes and the thing about the Fords with the square headlights from the 80s, these medium duties, they like they kind of look like this. Like they're like, eh, I guess I can do the job. Yeah, put the dirt back there. But like those, they're just like, alright, overload the shit out of my ass. I got this shit. So, yeah, you're just basically changing the personality of, of the vehicle by changing the headlights to round from square. Very simple but effective modification. Cross, roll, cross pattern, so it looks, looks quite lovely. It's quite lovely indeed, enjoyed. Not very tight them either. Come on now. Now was this a waste of time or what? I don't know that there's too many people besides one person that I know of that wants to convert their old medium duty Ford to round headlights, but okay. we are good. Disconnected. How do you like the uh, custom tripod, by the way? But, you know, you can talk about what I'm talking about here. I mean, that just looks mean. Like, literally, that truck just looks pissed off right now with those round eyes just like the Isuzu here 
Similarly, it's just got like, and I'll disregard the blue tape because whatever, but you know, this thing just, it, it, it just looks mean. It's like a little mean insect. And of course, that just looks that way. With these old Fords, the round, the square headlights just don't do it for me, so. Swamp them out of those Rand babies like that, and man, she freaking looks brilliant. Now that guy just looks confused or surprised, I don't know, but. All right, well. I hope that helped you. I hope uh, somebody out there can get something out of that. If you want to convert one of these trucks to a round headlight, it looks like the parts availability might be an issue, but I mean, there's a lot of cars over the years that had round seven inch headlight buckets, round seven inch headlights. So shouldn't be too hard to find a bucket that'll fit. In this case, I just, I searched eBay and I basically found it really quick and it was over a year ago. It was February, 2022 that I bought those and they're just not, they're not there anymore. So I'm sure you'll find something. Uh, I guess that does it for this one. And I'll see you next time, guys. Oh, yeah, and uh, I wanted to say, too, I haven't yet figured out, like, a true upload schedule. You know, I was trying for, like, weekend uploads, Saturday or Sunday, but then it never pans out. I never get a video out the day that I think I'm going to get a video out. And in the past week, I put a couple videos out on just, I think, Monday and Wednesday or Tuesday, but... Or was it Sunday? But I don't even remember. But my point is, for the next coming unknown amount of time, there may be videos, there may be a few videos a week. I'm going to try to just get more more videos out. Um, I'm going to try to just keep, keep cutting them out. And at some point, I'm going to try to nail down a schedule. But if, at the very least, I want to get maybe two videos out a week. But right now, let's just... Uh, do I, I got plenty to do I got plenty of projects to do with this truck um and I could and I have other things that I can surely make videos out of so uh thanks for watching and see you next time well that one's a bit fucking long isn't it that one right there is really a bit fucking long let me know what you think down in the comments put your like above and let the bell ring out let freedom ring with the white dove sing with the whole world party or something, I don't know.